we're not that old. <laughs> Uh, okay, but we are tired. I'm definitely tired. Uh, one last speaker. I'd like to um, uh, introduce uh, a former trustee in Vancouver. She's worked tirelessly for uh, for public education. Um, she's a, a very outspoken uh, woman, and we'd really like to introduce Jane Bowie, former trustee and co-trustee. Thank you. It's a real honor to be here. I've had to write down my notes because I'm, I'm really emotional about this and I'm afraid I'll just break down if I, if, I, if I don't rely on my notes. I'm here to oppose Bill 22, but also describe a decade of intentional undermining of public education. A decade ago, after the illegal stripping of contracts, I spoke at the huge teacher rally at the Pacific Coliseum. I spoke about being the parent of a child with special needs. I spoke about my son James's challenges, his hopes, his dreams. I spoke about his teachers and support workers who tried so hard to meet his unique learning needs. I spoke about the tears and frustration and anger we shared. There were just not enough resources, not enough supports to meet his needs. I spoke about a system already stretched thin that was being torn apart by the actions of Education Minister Christy Clark. I spoke about what the tearing up of locally bargained class size and composition agreements would mean to kids like my son. I spoke about what those agreements, what those unprecedented cuts would mean to all of our schools. And I spoke about the leading role that teachers through their union had taken in speaking out for those most vulnerable kids. As a queer parent, I also became increasingly concerned about homophobic bullying in our schools. I heard queer youth talk about what a nightmare school was for them. I worked with queer teachers and our allies as we advocated for those queer youth. Teachers, through their union, your union, continue to take a leading role in standing up for safer, more inclusive and welcoming schools for all of our students. <laughs> schools that celebrate diversity. In November 2002, I was elected as a Vancouver school trustee. Yeah! Yeah! My years on two of the most progressive school boards in the history of the province were some of the most rewarding and frustrating of my life. For a decade, we face systematic intentional underfunding. Public confidence in education was being undermined. Year after year, we faced horrific decisions of what legally required cuts we had to make. We worked hard to keep those cuts from the classroom, but it was impossible. Year after year, we looked at what could we protect? Who would we have to lay off? What is the minimum level of management needed to support kids? What programs would we have to cut? How can we cut more from supplies? Should we close schools? Should we shorten the calendar? And back again to who would we have to lay off? Every year we discuss with the community, should we break the law? Should we refuse to cut a cutback budget? Yes. We were told to stay on to keep up the battle, that there was too much good work yet to be done and our voices would be lost, so we continued to speak out. COPE and COPE Vision Boards worked with all of you, teachers, students, parents, unions and the community, to fight for fully funded public education. We were unrelenting. We took on the province. Sometimes we won. So cuts were less than expected, and in one year, 2005, we actually won additional funding. Yeah. Together, we were able to do some amazing work. We were not alone. Progressive trustees around the province also spoke out. Progressive boards in Vancouver have called for free and fair collective bargaining, pointed out the limitations of the net zero mandate, opposed the provocative actions of the employer, the current vision board calls for an independent mediation and COPE trustee Ellen Wong recently reiterated his support for free and fair collective bargaining. <laughs> Progressive trustees across BC
SBC continue to join with teachers, students, parents, other unions and the community to fight for public education. We may not always all agree, but together we are a powerful force. <laughs> teachers continue to inspire me with your cre creativity, your passion and your dedication to the classroom. In Vancouver, together with the Aboriginal community leading the way, teachers, trustees, and families are improving Aboriginal education. Together with the community, we developed and implemented groundbreaking anti-homophobia policy. <laughs> together, we work to, keep, to support the most vulnerable and help every student learn to their own unique potential. Everyone here, everyone here knows that teachers make a difference make a difference in our children's lives. That's why ch teachers keep doing the work that you're doing. You know you make a difference. In the context of a decade of cuts, of attacks on public education and teachers, and the BC Education Plan, we know that Bill 22 makes things worse. Worse for our teachers, and more importantly, worse for our kids, especially kids with special needs, kids for whom English is a second language, or those who live in poverty. This Liberal government thinks they can bully their way towards privatizing education, breaking unions. But we know, we've seen it happen together, we can stand up to bullies. <laughs> leadership of the BCTF, I believe we will win fully funded public education, fully funded public schools that truly meet the unique learning needs of every, every child. And that's, that's what keeps me fighting.